Kate, Tim and Joel. Listen via the Nova Player. Download it now from the App Store or Google Play and take Nova wherever you go. The Nova Player. Mike 1 on. Mike 2, that's you, Kate. Right, here we go. Mike 3, Joel Creasy. Come down and spend some time with the guys. This is Kate, Tim and Joel. We'll count you in. Some radio, man. Yes, yes. Okay, strap him. Oh, we're doing it. We are so doing it. Yum, get it in me. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the official start of Thursday afternoon with me, Tim Blackwell, and you, Joel Creasy. Guilty. Here. Present. Present. Ready to go. Some would say, in the words of John Mayer, this show is for the boys. It really is. I'm looking forward to getting into some great bloke chat with you today. Football. Yeah. Rugby. Yeah. Um, chicks. Chicks. Um, bikinis. Oh, bikinis. Oh, yeah. Uh, Euro bikinis. What about Euro uh, trunks? Euro oh, trunks. No, that's more a male thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. uh, uh, like all the... All the hot, hot women I love, like Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is Taylor Swift? Like, Taylor Swift's very talented. Like, she's no, like, you know, Tammy Hembrow. Oh, what? Well, she was in the news the other day for was something. She? I don't know. Oh, was Celeste that... Barber was giving her a hard oh, time on Classic Instagram. Celeste. Oh, Celeste, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the modern day Kathy Lett. <laughs> um, it is for the boys today, but we do have a bit of Kate, because Kate Ritchie is filming important things for Australia's Got Talent. Because there's one thing we know about TV people. Mm. Whenever there's a TV opportunity, they dump radio like a sucker. Oh, I know. They really do. She um, couldn't have gotten out of here faster. Radio though. is the poor cousin, even though more people listen to radio than um, <laughs> watch anything on TV. Oh, I know. Like when I'm doing Eurovision, you think I'm I'm curing cancer. <laughs> I know. But I'm actually hosting Eurovision on SBS. Yeah, yeah, at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> I know. I do, I do one segment on the Today Show. More people talk to me about that than anything I do in here. I know. I know. But, we, but we've crap. We get it, though, because radio is our life. But we have um, Kate Richards kind of in spirit today. Hello. No, not like that. Um, <laughs> because of... Someone's in a good mood. <laughs> I know. This must have been from ages ago. Hi. <laughs> Gosh. Well, so that's, Is that September scary. 2018? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's payday. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's a I don't know. A month. Oh, well, I don't know. You could play that anytime. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had a little uh, canvas in here. I didn't realise canvas came in poo brown. Oh, my God. I can't believe this painting, which we have spoken about... <laughs> for well over a year now, has finally made it into the office and it's freaking me out because those eyes follow you around the room. To Arne's brush with fame. Yes, Arne, this is the painting that, uh, apparently of Kate Ritchie. Um, <laughs> okay, Kate, go for it. Oh, wow. That's me. Yep. <laughs> Good acting. Good acting. Oh, uh, I mean, she was beautiful in that chat. Oh, the chat was great. Yeah. They probably should have cut it before they turned the canvas <laughs> around, though. <laughs> and it's so big. Well, it's cutting out all painting. my natural light. And, it, and in Sydney at the moment, it's overcast, raining, and 15 degrees. Oh, but I still, <laughs> I still just want a bit of natural light. I know. And she's eyeballing me, and mm. it's, it's really freaking me out. Could we put it on Facebook Marketplace as a joke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what we can get her. for it. Yeah. <laughs> Because also she'll be she'll be currently like behind that desk mm. judging talent. Yeah. So she won't have like time to really like realize that the text is a gag, a joke. No, I know. She'll think we've actually done it. Yeah. Oh, um, now someone's moving the camera. Oh, oh who's no. doing that? Oh, now she's getting I bigger it was just on you my and screen. I. Oh, she's getting bigger on my screen as well. Oh, Maddie. Oh my god. It's almost Maddie, like Maddie's had a few out. drinks or something. <laughs> Maddie's like my mum on, on writing on Microsoft Word. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. Can we get the, the painting out of here, do you reckon? As, as great as it is, it is cutting my light out. How many people are required to move that painting because it's ginormous? Um, I don't know. No, not the door. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so much, Kate Richie. Like, ask Kate something. Uh, how's your day going, Kate? Wah. No. Oh. Rangers, Daisy. <laughs> Rangers here. <laughs> Oh, of course, she she wouldn't miss an opportunity to co-host this show. I'm having so much but fun, guys. Seriously, Stace, it's about Kate today because she is filming. Isn't that isn't that amazing, Kate Ritchie? Oh, amazing! Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, incredible! And um, are you enjoying your time on Australia's Got Talent, Kate? Shish up. <laughs> Is that Kate or Ranger Stacey? <laughs> well, Ranger Stacey would never have that tone in her voice. No, That's never. classic Kate Ritchie. Never. 
Mm. Oh, dear. Um, mm. But, Katie, okay, are you back tomorrow? No. Okay. <laughs> are you back Monday? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> um, well, you know... We've let you have the day off to do whatever it is that you're doing on Australia's Got Talent, so I hope you appreciate that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Kate, have, have there been any blokes with um, great forearms come on the show? Uh, has there? That's a good one. Yes. <laughs> that sounds so sweet. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what would you, like, what, have, you, have you hung out with any of them backstage? Like, what have you gotten up to? Cream pie me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kate, do you, um, do you know any of the crew's names? I dare you to cream pie me. Oh. <laughs> That's so inappropriate. Kate. Where, whereabouts? Manhole. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kate, it's a workplace. With what? Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got in early and rehearsed this. It's so I good. I can't tell you how spontaneous this is. Because there's no way she would have the Nova Player app on her phone, so she's not going to... Oh, no way. No, no. She'd have to get her stylist to tell her what happened on the show. <laughs> This is actually a lot of fun. I know. Kate, have you said um, anything inappropriate yet? On, Suck a uh... toe. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Didn't yeah. mean right now. But what is it What is it like sharing a dressing room with Shane Jacobson? Oh, I love, oh, I love it. it. I love it. Oh, I love it too, apparently. Do you? Ah. <laughs> yeah. oh. No, but seriously, what's Shane like? Wow. Oh, Stacey! Stacey, stay out. Let's talk Shania Twain. Your best friend had an affair with your husband. That led to divorce. It was similarly intense to losing my parents. I thought I'd lost my voice forever. I thought that was it. This is a, this is not new, but we've been talking about it for a while. In 2008, Shania was rocked by allegations. Her husband, Mutt Lang, um, Robert Mutt, Mutt Lang, Lang, what a mutt, um, mm. had been having a secret long-term affair. Are there any affairs that aren't secret? Like, yeah, can, you can you have, can you have an, uh, uh, an out-in-the-open affair? <laughs> I know, but that's very brazen, very ballsy. <laughs> it's very ballsy. you got some fair nuts on you if you do that. <laughs> um, Shania and Robert separated and finalised a divorce in 2010. Now, six months after their marriage officially ended, Shania revealed that she was engaged to a man named Frederick. Oh, if you don't mind. The ex-husband of her friend, Marianne. Oh, and Marianne had the affair with the, yes. her husband, Mark. Yes. Oh it's my a god. Good old fashioned partner swap. That's a real legitimate partner swap. It's a real partner swap. 13, 24, 10. Partner swapping. Now, have you been involved in a partner swap just for a bit of fun? Like, you know, maybe over a weekend. Oh, yeah. Trade them in. Like, could you do that and things be fine after that? I, I think, think that's pretty it, tough when everyone knows everyone. It depends on your outlook on that sort of stuff. But I always think, statistically, right, there's four people involved in a I partner swap. What, yes, I know what you're going to say. So statistically, I reckon even half of those people wouldn't be cool with it. <laughs> two people are going to have their nose out of joint. Yeah, because always one person is going to be more into it than the other person. Remember that great show, Wife Swap? Yes. And just some of the hideous <laughs> creatures. I love that show. On planet Earth. That was before, obviously, streaming services. Oh, but I do so love great. that show. That was great. Didn't they do Celebrity Wife Swap too? Yeah, which is ridiculous because it's not boring. believable. No, yeah. no. I want my reality TV to be believable, please. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when a really like the really strict mum in Wife Swap would have to go to like the really messy house and have a full breakdown. Boy, like- and then start like <laughs> and then start disciplining the other household's kids, which was so inappropriate. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not me, Mum. I know, and there's cameras everywhere. Yeah, and also, where, yeah. So the first package is, I'm really anal and very clean and love everything in its order. We're like, oh well, you're gonna go to a trash heap. Yeah, you know what you're gonna see <laughs> next. You're gonna see some hoarder's house. Yes, it's gonna be hideous. Like five kids. Mm. Hey, Tim and Joel. You can call me irrelevant, insignificant. We're not gonna do that. I won't call oh, hey, on you. Hey, P-I-N-K. Oh. We're not gonna do it. Irrelevant. To, that song, I mean, I'm not even an asthmatic, but I feel like I need a Ventolin. Oh, yeah. A puffer. <sighs> yeah. Or yeah. like, or I need to go and breathe into a brown paper bag or something because just, it just, it knocks me for six. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Um, yes. Mm. I feel windswept. I might rock out to that later. You, that that's the first time that jacket's made sense, actually. Your jacket's made sense during that song. Well, if we... Okay, not if we. How silly of me, because I know Mike from Sony will be listening. Yeah. When we get our... Exclusive with Pink, where we, what are we doing? We're taking her um, paragliding or something. Yeah, something <laughs> rock like that. Rock climbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. we go and do an uh, interview on rock climbing wall with Pink. And, and you know what I'm going to do after dinner? Cold Rock Deli. Oh, she'd love it. <laughs> she, well, she'd get behind the bar and start smashing stuff up oh herself. My God. Her, her kitchen at home is just a cold rock. <laughs> 
What do you want your ice cream today, Willow? <laughs> Skittles? <laughs> Skittles with <laughs> <and marshmallow. laughs> She would karate chop it. <laughs> oh, we're going paintballing with pink. That's right. I'm a bit nervous. I hope I'm on her team. I don't want to be with Kate. Oh, no way, but I'll, I would die. Pink would hit me right between the eyes. And, she, I'll, and I'll love every minute of it. I know. She, yeah, she would put that gun straight, like, right up to your face. Yes. Yeah, pink that's paint, how you paintball pink. Yeah. Whatever like, makes that's it. How we do. That's how we do back in the motherland. But whatever makes it finish quick. <laughs> <laughs> I hate paintballing. I hate activities. You me know too. that. Yeah. Yeah, not like, I like the photo to show that I've done something that other than go to a bar. Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah, I, I, My sightseeing involves sitting in the bar outside the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> What's great as well is Pink will come with her own paintball gun. Oh, yeah, of course. She probably carries it, you know, yeah. in a handbag. Or, or, Carrie, or Carrie carries it for her, yeah. whatever her name is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Carrie. and the guys at Sony, if you're listening, I know you're busy today. You've got a big event on today. But if you're listening, you know that you've got to give the uh, the pink exclusive to us. Yeah. Kate will be here for that. Um, yeah. At the moment, though, we've just got Kate's Ando <laughs> painting staring at me. And for the but seriously, girls, you need to get it out of here. I need, I need some... You're pretending to be on the phone with your headset that's not plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> Booking economy flights somewhere. <laughs> oh, where are you off to? Oh, she just looks like she works for Flight Centre. Oh, that's right. Bri- <laughs> Brienne on the left is booking um, ski trips to uh, different villages and stuff because she snowboards. She snowboards, which is very cool. Yeah, yeah. That's why she's got a super roommate. She can do anything she wants. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody getting her down. That's right. Oh, yeah. Mm. This car can do anything. It's like pink. It's the pink of cars. <laughs> the Swiss Army knife. We're talking about Shania Twain. Now, her documentary comes out. But I threw the sheet out. When does it come out? Next, next Tuesday. Oh, next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> um, Are you going to watch that one? Because of course apparently I... the J Lo one was beneath you. Yeah, but I love Shania. I, I do love Shania. But then why wouldn't you watch the J Lo one? It's really great. No, I love Shania. Orville Peck's in the Shania one. Okay. So uh, fair enough. And also Shania, I do, I did love that album. That don't impress me much. Man, I feel like a woman. The other ones. Oh yeah. Has she got more than one album? <laughs> she feels okay. She's got real Alanis Morissette energy in that she had one great album, and because I feel like all the bangers were on that album. Um, from this moment, I think that was on. Oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was her first big hit. I remember she was in like a white dress. Yeah. In the video clip. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. From this moment, any man of mine. Oh my god, uh, you're, you're still, the, still the one. Oh, you're still the one. Yeah. Oh, here's a bracket song. If you're not in it for love, I'm out of here. Well, her husband did that. <laughs> What is a great karaoke tune. You know tomorrow's going to be loose. Maybe we add this into the mix tomorrow. Have you gotten permission for that? Yeah, I have. Oh, that's going to be great. I've got a few people we can call too. Same. I've been lining them up. Five studio albums. It's not bad. Okay, my apologies, Shania. Hey, Kim. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, great. Are you a Shania fan at all? Back in the day, yeah. yeah, when I was younger. Of course. She she got a lot of heat from the country music fraternity for showing her stomach. She Did was like, she? yeah, because she was a bit too poppy. Well, she got in trouble, remember, like a couple of years ago for getting behind Trump. Um, Did she? And then she quickly backpedaled yeah, from yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, that's why she's hanging out with like, Harry Styles and stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, now, Kim, you're calling because of partner swapping. That's exactly what Shania did with her husband. And I believe in 2010 when they finalised their divorce, she ended up hooking up with the man that her best friend was having an affair with, right? So was everyone happy in the end? Well, I don't know. Um, don't ask Kim. She doesn't know either. <laughs> um, but what's your she was only a fan story? back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, what is your partner swapping story, Kim? Well, my cousin was actually married to a woman who had an affair with a man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then his, uh, his wife was talking to my cousin. They were sort of consoling each other after <gasps> it all broken up and then they ended up together. So Ooh. they essentially swapped and they're all still together now. And, and do, really happy. Do yeah. they ever hang out, the four of them? No, definitely not. That that's, part of it's not. They're okay. happy with each other's new partners, but yeah. they definitely don't talk to each other because that, and yeah. I think the best part, I would assume, if your, your relationship's breaking up, yeah. that you both have found love again. Because yeah, there's nothing so, worse than you've toddled off with someone else and then your partner's left behind being oh, a little sand sack, eating say, Ben and Jerry's on the couch. Yeah, for sure, watching The Notebook. Yeah. And I mean, Bridget Jones' diary going, oh, she's just like oh me. Oh, my God. Oh, and, and, and old episodes of Sex in the City, pretending yeah. that you lived in New York, even though you're in a flat somewhere in the suburbs. I know, and you can't actually stand your three best mates, yeah. but you're like, oh, no, we're them. It's like oh, I live in a brownstone <laughs> in New York. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, who, who's for a Cosmo? Oh, just me again on yeah. the couch but on really, a Saturday night? But really, you live next to a subway and a bus stop. <laughs> You're so sex in the city. Oh my god, you're such a Samantha. And instead That's of Manolo Blonix, it's uh it's bobbly track pants. <laughs> and crocs. <laughs> Moccasins. But not even brand name moccasins. Kmart moccasins. Or heavy harness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. With the Brazil flag on them. Ooh. Because they were cheaper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the ugly, it's always the ugly colours that are left of Javianas. Yeah, that's right. Remember Ooh. the Javiana vending machines? Yes. Who's that desperate for a thong? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, who's in need so immediately <laughs> of a thong? Hey, Courtney, how are you? Hi, I'm well. How are you guys? Yeah, good. Welcome to the Boys Club. It's just the boys today. Sorry that we're, we're not being you know, reeled in. Um, but welcome to the Boys Club. What is your partner swap story? Uh, I grew up with a couple of families and I didn't realize, I didn't get told this until I was about 18 years old. Mm-hmm. Um, so two sisters, when they were young, were dating these two guys and um, they hung out together all the time and stuff and... One weekend they went away for a camping trip mm. and they came back and had swapped partners oh. and they've been together ever since and both partners ended up getting married and have kids and they're still together 30 years later. Whoa! I'm actually mind blown. That's an incredible story. Well, you'll have to run me through that story. <laughs> <laughs> you were mucking around in your chair. It was a good story. Thanks, Thanks Courtney. Courtney. Kate. Joel on Nova. Okay, Richie, today she is busy with her busy. TV family. I know, being judgmental. But, you know, for a good cause. David Walliams and stuff. Yeah, Alicia Dixon. Is it great? Oh, amazing. Okay. Yeah? yeah Are yeah, you yeah. Um, having a productive day, Kate? Couldn't do it. No. <laughs> right. Wow. wow. That doesn't make any sense. Offer some feedback. I know. What's, mm-hmm. what's the matter? You! <laughs> oh, Okay. She's so loose. I'm I'm having so much fun, guys. I will know you are, mate. You're always here. (laughs) Stranger. Um, What about this? There's a part of me that does love a conspiracy theory because, you know, in this life, we take things at face value too much. Yeah. You just accept what you're told. And sometimes you go, you know what? Mm. I'm going to deep dive into that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm very gullible. I fall hook, line, and sinker for everything. Yeah, well, someone sold you that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, I someone sat... says, yeah, you suit fake leather. <laughs> yeah, fake blue leather. Yeah. Um, I sat online staring at this jacket for, like, a, a good six months, you know, going out, doing open mic gigs, telling my jokes, and uh, so I could buy hmm. this blue pleather fire hazard. Yeah. Well, as I said, you go into that club tonight and uh, just dance around it and then leave. Oh, I've got a cool shirt on underneath. I've got my Jaguar Jones Of course, band I love shirt. that T-shirt. Yeah. Um, but conspiracy theories. Are you mad for conspiracy theories? 13 24 10 is our number. Jump on the phone. Remember, first class 50K by jumping on the air. This is mm. about clouds. Yeah, and I'm also, uh, can I say, I'm mad for people that are mad for a conspiracy theory. Because yeah, I, I, I want to, I want to live my crazy through them. I don't want to be the person that says, "Oh, I don't believe in the moon landing," or "I once patched the Loch Ness monster." Yeah, I don't want to be that person, <laughs> but I want to talk to that person. Yeah, so there was some, gr- there's some crazy September 11th conspiracy theories that were so, like they had photos and videos to kind of back their points up that you go, "Oh, yeah, I know," wow. and you find yourself falling for it, and then you go, "Hang on, hang on, hang on." Yeah, and also I think in the last few years since COVID, yeah. maybe heard of it. <laughs> um, the conspiracy theorists are really like they're not even trying to hide it anymore. They're like, I'm here, I'm bonkers. <laughs> Hear what I've got to say. <laughs> I didn't know. Um, this one's a bit like Matrixy. This conspiracy theory, yeah. Because I often think like, are we plugged into the Matrix? <laughs> do you really? Can I do? You do Kung spend Fu? a lot of time thinking though, because it, because your world is all Joel Creasy and anxiety. Ah, uh, yeah. So when you go home. You're still Joel Creasy. You're always thinking about stuff. Well, that's the thing. And people think I put this character on and I'm like some big, you know, I, I'm this big flamboyant character and it's just an act. No. And if you if you can't stand me, fair enough. I have to live with me. It sucks. Um, anyway, people have questioned if the simulation of life is real, right? Yeah. This picture is quite wild. It's, it's well, after- no, This picture's crazy, but then again... It could be just made. 
it could be just made, or you, you could be your phone could be just having a moment. Um, so it's a, a perfect, clear cut square cloud, right? Yeah. Seen in the sky. So it, it's it's cloudy, but the edges are sharp, and it's like an A4 piece of paper um, hanging over this city. Yeah, it's like a misty bit of reflex in the sky. One hundred percent. Yeah. Um, now it's believed that the square cloud is a glitch in the simulation, as people are lab- labelling it otherwise unexplainable. Um, the simulation hypothesis proposes whew, need wow. a drink after that um, that human <laughs> existence is a simulated reality, such as a computer simulation, which convinces its inhabitants that the simulation is real. See, so after that photo last week of uh, 13 billion years ago of the galaxy, mm-hmm. or something like that, or some such. Oh, what, the one that everyone was posting last week on social? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, wow, you're so astrological. Like, you're oh. so cool. Yeah, you've never mentioned this ever before. Uh, no, I know. I didn't think you liked space. Mm. Um, I <laughs> think with so many billions of other galaxies, there is, there's something up here. Like, have they all got their own Today Show and Sunrise? Oh, uh, my God. Do they have their own malls? Do they go to the movies? Who's their Brad Pitt? Or yes. is it so totally different? Yeah, like, I, you know, because every time a, a movie about aliens come out, they're, like, really creepy looking and yeah. they're way smarter than us. Yeah. What if another galaxy is, like, you know, nearby, but they're maybe just 20 years behind us? Well, that'd be fun. Like, a 90s galaxy. But yeah, they're wearing, like, snap pants and they're <laughs> rocking around with discmans. Like, because we always think there's this huge gap between us. Like, yeah, they're yeah, either yeah. going to be so far in... It's always they're going to be so more advanced than us. <laughs> what if they're 20 years behind us? What if they're just about to get home alone? Yes, <laughs> and streaming services. <laughs> <laughs> this is Woo! Kate, Tim and Joel. How did you get what you want? If you want because most people I know kind of get what they want. That's kind of what makes you hang out with them. Like, you, 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 you're attracted to people who get what they want, right? But that's the trick to life, isn't it? Getting what you want. That's right. You know, otherwise you're sitting in the corner going, no, oh, I wish I had that. Missing out. Yeah, I want to be just like them. I will be just like them. Be just like them. Actually, no, be yourself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I Stop should, it. Stop I should it. work for Hallmark. Be yourself. <laughs> Be yourself. Yeah, yeah, be the best version of yourself. If I had a talk show, you know, like Ellen sign off and, you know, they've all got a sign off. Oh, yeah, what would your sign off be? Just be yourself. Oh, my God. Thanks for watching. Um, that was uh, Mornings with Joel. Mm. How great was Carrie Ann this morning? Mm. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Just be yourself. Maybe I'll go. Um, thanks for watching uh, Tim Blackwell tonight, and we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, make sure you tune in. Or don't. <laughs> but actually do. No. And no, honestly, nothing's going to beat so What about this? What about this? Me. What So hard to your dad for me. Because, you know, oh, what? Great. as a father, can I just say something really quick? Yep. We exist too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our kids like us as well. When's Father's Day? Who knows? No one cares about Father's Day. <laughs> September, I think, is it? I must say, I always feel like I deliver more on presents for mum than oh, presents for dad. And I feel oh very guilty God. about it. It's not a conscious decision. Yeah, but also, you know the, what annoys me? The excuse is always, well, you always buy yourself what you want anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, yeah. yeah I've uh, got a job. Yeah. Well, it's actually my wife's birthday next week, and my nine-year-old daughter said, "What? you know what? I just love her. That's That should be gifts enough. And I go, yeah, try that on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Try that on Tuesday. Like a lead balloon. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jill White has won a two year long battle to get her local council to cut an overgrown hedge near her home in Tatworth, the UK. Tatworth. That Tatworth. sounds like a nice place. Tatworth. I've never heard of Tatworth. No, we'll check her out. Um, the mum has been requesting that the bush. If only could oh, God, I haven't heard this yet today be trimmed over and over again, but it's been ignored for years. So she's fed up, right? She's yeah. fed up with a Tatworth Council. <laughs> the ignored request that she stood on the side of the highway naked with uh, with a card that read, I've trimmed my bush, now highways trim yours. Oh Holy gosh. moly. I mean, I, I love her passion, but who's got the time? Yeah, who cares about anything that much? Um, oh, no, I, did not, I don't care about my own house that much. <laughs> Um, Jill wants the footpath to be accessible for pedestrians, obviously. Um, looks like a lovely part of the world, doesn't it? Looks like a very hot work. Who's, who's walking down that street? I know, and they've not had much um, rain in a while because it looks very dry. Which bit? Which bush are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I like the bush she's put over a bum. Or oh, like the, the bum bush. The bum bush. 
<laughs> the naked protests appear to have been a success. Here we go. As two county councillors have confirmed work to cut the hedges and clear the footpaths, it'll start next week. Well, Thanks, Jill enough. White. Good on you, Jill, Jill White. White. They need to get this crazy lady off the road in the news. <laughs> I know. That's why. No, whatever we can do to make you put clothes on, Jill. <laughs> no. It'll be amazing. I can't look um, at your bum bush any longer. Kate, Tim and Joel Nova. The Glossies. On screen. On screen. On screen. Yeah, let's have a look at what's happening in the world of Glossies on this Thursday afternoon. Who we got here? What's happening here? Oh, well, this is a, a, a great Glossy uh, for me. Yeah. Um, Amanda Seyfried. Um, I love Amanda. I think she's a great actress. Um, brilliant what in Mean Girls. What's her big role? Oh, mean, mean Girls. girls. Um, okay. the really, the, uh, she played Karen. In, in Mean Girls. Oh, sure. Mamma Mia. Um, anyway, she's revealed, obviously, the Wicked movie, Wicked the Musical, is going to be huge. Ariana Grande is playing in Glinda, which I think is an interesting choice. There's a lot of pressure riding on her for that role. Uh, but Amanda Seyfried has revealed that she auditioned for the part of Glinda in the film, um, but lost out. Oh, it's going to be a two-part movie. Oh, my God. Wowee. There's two movies I'm not going to say. <laughs> I would love to take you. No, I want to take you to the actual show. I want to take you to Top Gun. I've been to Top Gun, mate. Oh, we'll take it again. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, okay. Do a movie night, watch that and Spy. And that, that will last 10 minutes until we just get distracted. We haven't spoken about Spy in so long, and I just want you to know it's still my favourite movie. Well, you're Nothing's ridiculous. Changed. I'm not ridiculous, it's so funny. You're ridiculous. Next, Glossy, please. Okay. What's happening here? <laughs> oh, Keanu Reeves. Yes. Nicest man in Hollywood, supposedly. So they say. Um, his character, John Wick, was originally meant to be written... <laughs> For an older actor. God, those, there's like 400 of those John Wick films. Three. Oh, three. <laughs> um, I love John Wick, and they're not really, really up my... I love the John Wick franchise. It's like that one with that other dude. Um, the Born Identity. No, um, the British guy. James uh, He's Bond. also in Spy. Um, what's Bond? his name? He's got like a heap of movies, like a John Wick type movie. Driver James Bond. No, not James No, not James with Bond. With the British guy with heaps of movies. Jason Statham. Oh, yeah. What's his big series of movies? I don't know. Who cares? Um, Jason it was, Statham. Yeah, he has a series like John Wick. Um, or am I going bonkers? Anyway, it was meant... Uh, John Wick was either meant for Clint Eastwood mm. or um, or Harrison Ford. Mm-hmm. Uh, and before Keanu signed on to the franchise, jo- yeah, John Wick was supposed to be a 75-year-old man. There you go. Um, mm. This one, this is Will Smith. What's he up to? Well, um, he's going to be paid $35 million bucks for his upcoming Apple TV thriller, Emancipation. So the largest upfront salary reported this year. I mean salary. I said salary. Um, Tom salary. Cruise is estimated to make over 100 million for Top Gun. So there you go. Because that's amazing. So who's going to watch Emancipation? I'm not watching anything with Will Smith in, and that's got nothing to do with the. the, the, the no, no. Pre-slap, post-slap. I'm not yeah. watching. It. Now this, I don't know how I feel about this because Kate Moss to me can do no wrong. I know, as I know. you know. Um, and Your she's mate. passionately sung um, a version of Diana Ross and Lyra Ritchie's track, Endless Love, at a Diet Coke party. <laughs> a Diet Coke party. <laughs> she's still beautiful and amazing. I'm trying to work out if it's in key. Who cares? It's Kate Moss singing. I have, to, I have to watch you sing every Tuesday. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. A rehab with Amy Shark. Sway me way. Bit of Vic Runga. Oh, if you don't mind. Yeah, a little bit of a throwback to our Kiwi trip, which does feel like about 10 years ago. I know. It was great, though. I loved it. I'd go back to Wellington in a heartbeat. I love people who say stuff like that. I would go back, <laughs> I, and particularly to that bar we ended up in the last night singing uh, Katy Perry. We Barry, didn't drink on a work trip. Don't say that stuff on air. We, oh, did, we didn't go out on a work trip. I know. Sorry. Liar, liar, pants on fire, <laughs> and I'm pointing at myself. We went to coffee clubs and... Um, Are you a member? I am. Oh, my God. Yeah, I like, Someone's doing well. Yeah, I like a big jug of hot milk that looks like coffee but doesn't taste like coffee. No, it does Yeah, it does not what, remotely wake me up. In fact, if anything, makes me feel a bit sluggish because now I'm full of milk and a Freon, a really dry Freon. Or, you know what, if you're a cafe and you don't serve steak and prawns, well, then you're not even trying. Oh, uh, are you really a cafe? <laughs> with, the, with the garlic prawns dripped over the steak. Where I lived in Belimba in Brisbane oh. for a little, little time because, you know, yeah. someone did all right. Yeah. <laughs> Belimba, yeah, there's... Belimba nice. 
Belinda's. Belinda's lovely. I love Belinda uh, Russell on the, <laughs> on the Today Show. Um, uh, they had a coffee club on Oxford Street. I think they might still have it. And they used to have a sign out the front of it that had a steak on it. Yeah. That had garlic prawns uh-huh. oozing over the top of it. Surf and turf and coffee. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Because I want, I want a surf and turf to go right through me. Of course. <laughs> I love pairing a surf and turf with flat white. Are you saying you're one of those people who have to poop after a cup of coffee? Yeah. Oh, m- not one, but the second one. Oh, oh, I, need a, I need to be in the vicinity. You need a, you need a bowl. I'm not having the second one in like a, a car going anywhere or Joel on a needs plane. A bowl. Yeah. Um, what do you get up to when the kids are away? 13, 24, 10. Well, Joel, your life is when the kids are away. So Thank God. <laughs> get stuffed. <laughs> um, I can do what I want when I want. Yeah, I know, and you're still upset about it. <laughs> um, what do you get up to when the kids are away? 13, 24, 10. Give us a call. And what I should just quickly say is um, the Transporter franchise is what I was thinking about before with Jason Statham. Oh, because no one cared about that. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Collinson tweeted yeah. in. Oh, did he tweet? It's so weird when someone tweets us. Twitter. Thank you. It's so weird when someone tweets. Cause it I know. Like, so what are you rarely. doing? I know. I don't even check my Twitter anymore. I feel like I'm in trouble when I see there's a mention on Twitter. I'm like, oh, By God. the way, can I say something about your tweets? Um, when you tweet like about like asking a question when mm-hmm. you could just Google it. Why do you do that? Is that so like you get love back? Like you feel like you're, you're feeling a bit lonely? <laughs> no, I just like to like what's good on Net- like what's good on Netflix at the moment. Well, you Twain. can't, go- but you can't Google that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, you can't Google that because my followers. I have a look at the, one of the last ones you did. It was oh. it was mind blowing. But because my followers know what I like. Yeah, but I'm not sometimes, saying there's like, a whole sometimes heap of I go, them. oh, Jack must be out because you're lonely on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sometimes late at night after a few vinos, I've got a bit to say. And then I quickly delete it after because I'm spineless and pathetic. I need a tacky Christmas jumper for a work party on Friday. Where would deliver before then? Oh, Google? Okay. <laughs> I'll tell and you. That, that's just so you can tell everyone you're going to a party. Oh, yeah. I feel so, so cool going to an overwork Christmas party. <laughs> well, you've only just stopped have... talking about it. <laughs> you've loved that night so much. And I ended up When's the it. men's tennis concert final on? It's Come funny, on, mate. calling sport tennis Yeah, concerts. I know. That's funny. But when's it on? What are you expecting from us? Okay. with the... expecting me to write back to that? Well, I, don't, if you, I don't want you to write back. I want someone with the answers. But also, the reason I asked about the tacky Christmas jumper is in the hope that someone with a tacky Christmas jumper business might go, I'll drop some off to you at work. This is great. Heading to Singapore for a couple of nights oh, this week. Up. Haven't been in years. <laughs> I'm very excited. Any fabulous dining recommendations I will I'd... gladly take. Oh. As if you didn't book every restaurant <laughs> before you got on that plane. And also... I had to put in haven't been in years just to let oh, no, people to show know people, don't, don't worry, it's not my first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's <laughs> me old hood. Singapore. Yeah, love it. Love it. Oh, this um, is great, actually. This is more fun than um, what do you do when the kids are away. Yeah. I haven't even bothered reading this story, but I can if you like. Yeah, go for it. It's about a woman named Christiana, but spelled with a J. I'm going to Wagga Wagga tonight. <laughs> Where should I go for dinner? Well. Oh, God. Come on, Bradley, my mate, who's come in to the studio for a drink before we go out. Yeah, it's bringing friends to work day. It I, is. I, I didn't get that memo. It's Thursday. <laughs> that worked because a beautiful restaurant in Wagga Wagga. After I finished my show on Saturday night, stayed open for us, and it yeah. was beautiful. Pastoral, or something oh yeah, it was called Pastoral. Where was it on a scale of one to Singapore? <laughs> it was great. It was really great. Um, anyway, get off. Please get off my Twitter feed because I think it gets p- progressively more. I tragic. know, but you love a question. Because I like engaging people, mate. About I like. To, oh, here we go. Oh, God. About to fly to Sydney. No, Everything don't. seems delayed due to storms. Anyone have any intel? Okay. Is anything going in or out? Well, now what are you asking? <laughs> well, I was hoping, like, maybe Sydney Airport might reply to me and be like, you'll be fine. Oh, it's like when people text and tweet Optus because they've got no reception in their area. Oh, oh yeah. Because the 20-year-old like, on Twitter I know. <laughs> who has the Optus password mm. is no... no S-H-I-T's about your life. I know. Well, I wasn't doing like the whole, like, oh, my plane's delayed at Qantas. Like the social <laughs> media intern knows how to fix the engine. Leave him alone. Anyway, do you want to hear about Christiana? Yeah, maybe. This, yeah. Is, this is pretty fun. Though. I'm She's... deep diving into your Twitter here. Okay, you, you do tweet that. a lot. I, I actually don't. Oh, okay. Not compared to you. You do about. like, what, one photo of you with a band that no one's heard of? Yeah, because that's what the podcast is for, so you can hear them. It's okay. called Introducing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The and there's actually a great new episode with Orville Peck out tomorrow. I'm going to go to that concert Monday night if you get me tickets. I'll be able to get you tickets. Okay. It's sold out. Yeah, I know. That's what's so good about being friends with you. I use you. 
Do you use me? Are we not actually friends? Yeah, no, I'm using you for your contacts, for your little black book. You're certainly not <laughs> using me on my opinions on what I think of that jacket because you have not taken that off <laughs> since three o'clock. I'm committing to it because yeah. I don't want, you know, continuity for the socials. Kate, Tim and Danny Zuko. <laughs> my hair is quiff to the gods today. Anyway, Christiana, she's come clean about what parents get up to while the kids are away at school camp. Um, Christiana admitted to dropping her 10-year-old off at a circus camp. Ah, oh, Christiana. And then headed straight to a session... Sh- oh, my God. Headed straight to a session shop for toys and supplies to spice things up. What? She then took the day off from work. Oh, my God. Get this. So the kids are at school camp. Mm-hmm. She took the day off from work and stayed in bed all day with her husband, Kurt. Kurt? Using the session toys. You know what they were doing. That's Marvin Gaye and getting on. <laughs> that was Marvin Gaye and getting it on. Fair enough. Um, I'm blaming. Are we going to... What happened to Ellie? Gosh, you guys love talking to the callers. They're for on air, okay? You've got enough friends. Get your own, mate. Well, they don't. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ellie, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Ah, uh, great. What do you do when the kids are away? Not what I do. It's what my dad does. Oh, yeah. Oh, what does dad do? Dad strips down naked and walks around the house naked. Oh, Dad. Yeah, I busted him once, um, sitting on the couch, watching a movie, front door no, right in front of the couch. No. Like just a normal movie, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, normal movie, nothing yeah. at all. Nothing on SBS after 10pm. Oh, Ellie loved that. Ellie's dad. Mm-hmm. You realise you're so into subtitles, Ellie's dad. <laughs> Now, we recorded this on Tuesday, so you're about to hear... Don't freak out. You're about to hear Kate Ritchie's voice. I know. It's going to just make you just get off the road. How does she road. do it? How does she do it? I know. Hi. Yeah, okay. Hi, Kate. Um, we recorded this on Tuesday. Kyle Richards um, from Beverly Hills Housewife. I, I saw her at the Today Show that morning. You beat me to it. Got a photo. So I've met her twice. How many times have you met her? Just once. But she did repost me three times on Instagram, which I think makes me best mates with her because she'd like Kyle and Jackie O, and I think they got maybe one post. Um, d- Shots fired. Have any of your friends, <laughs> did any of your friends comment on it? Like, um, were they impressed that you met Kyle? They were so, so impressed. I got quite a few comments. It was it was nice to break up the feed from the SponCon. Yeah, right. You didn't put anything on Twitter, though, because... Oh, my God. Mate, people use Twitter. People use Twitter to get people's opinions and people's feedback. That's what it's there for. That's what I use it for. Oh, Aren't you glad I'm not six... on there giving my political opinions? It's coming up to six o'clock. Anyone got any good dinner recommendations? <laughs> <laughs> well, I travel a lot. I'm not in every oh, town. Right. I don't hey, know hey, people hey, in Wagga Wagga, do time, I? It's time. Well, okay. It's time to uh, introduce <gasps> Kyle so Richards. Excited. And you were very pumped because we kept it a surprise and then you saw her outside the glass doors oh, here. This okay. Is it's I'm ready. It's a quick oh, my God. Oh, my God. Today's guest is an international star. This season on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. An award-winning TV personality, actor, author and producer. Uh, what are you guys doing out here? It's Halloween. She's an original Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. <laughs> the best and has returned housewife. for its 12th season. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please welcome Kyle Richards. Oh Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, my God. You're so sweet. Oh, my Thank goodness. You, you don't... No, you do, save do not know you are the greatest gift we have ever oh. been able to gift <laughs> anyone. I'm yeah. so funny. excited to meet you. I love you so much. Thank you. Wow, what a nice welcome. And thank you very much for your time. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Welcome. 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 Is this your first you. time to Australia? It is. Oh, my gosh. Welcome. I've been wanting to get here for so long. I, so many like people follow me on Instagram or from here. It's crazy. Like one of the top maybe four places. Yeah. yeah and <laughs> I'm always saying I really want to come. I actually want to shoot here at the show really badly. So well, yeah. you could take yeah. on the Melbourne girls. Like, you, yeah. Where would you go? Did you well, they can any... go to Beverly Hills and we'll, you know we'll come here. We'll I don't swap. think we have the budget to send our girls over there. <laughs> <laughs> and would our girls survive in Beverly Hills? Do you think? Oh, Gina Liano would be fine. I don't know about the others. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed with the current season. I love it so much. Well, I'm, uh, it's whenever people. Love Love the current season. It's not really fun for the cast. <laughs> right. When it's a great uh, season for the audience, it's a really bad season for us. So. Oh, what does that, that mean? It's yeah. kind of not scandalous enough or kind of catty <gasps> enough. Or... I mean, it, just has, it causes a lot of anxiety. Oh, my gosh, yes, yeah, social media. Are you allowed to um, veto things? Like, say, so, so if something happens in situ, and I'm going to say in real life, okay. that is your life. Okay, yes. Um, are you allowed to, after it's happened and you've gone home and you've slept on it, 
call someone and make it go away. <laughs> you, if you thought the answer was yes, do you think that some of the stuff that I have done would be in there? Oh, I know. Well, that makes me think that there's worse. <laughs> no, no, no. No, there's some pretty bad stuff on yeah, there. Yeah, there's pretty yeah. bad. <laughs> That's what pretty bad. It. There is. Definitely. Okay, okay, Joel. Okay, yeah. Tim and I are about to step out of the room because I know Joel is like kind of like... We're going to have a little alone time. No, but he's, yeah. he's so super excited and I'm sure you meet so many people all of the time who say, oh my God, I'm such a big fan, I really love the show. But they have to say that. Do you know what I mean? Because you're in the room and all of that. Oh, I, wait, I, what? Are you telling me that people aren't there a liar? No, I have never met anyone so sincere. Yes. He has flown interstate to be in the same room that as you. So, nice. so can oh, we just like so kind of hand it over to well, you for okay. a moment? I, um, I sat on the okay. plane and I wrote some notes because I've got some very important <laughs> oh questions gosh, for okay. you. So where did you come from? I came from Melbourne. Oh, okay. Um, so well, well, Perth from originally. Gina Liano's Perth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, from, yeah. yeah I spoke to Gina and said, what should I wear? Um, <laughs> she decided that. And she decided on a <laughs> well, green, on the big forest green. I had on a different outfit and it was really cool. Oh, I saw you on the Today Show this morning. I watched that in the airport lounge. I was like, it's wrinkled looking. It looks like summer. I'm changing. Before I handed over, I did um, accost you in the reception area to say that oh, Joel yeah. had flown all the way in this morning. So again, apologies for that because that would have been very confusing in, in hindsight. <laughs> yeah. you go, you're coming on my radio show. I'm like, co-host is flying on yeah. I promise you I'm not like a prize winner or something. <laughs> he may act like it, yeah. but he's not. No, I love it. Okay, okay. I've got lots of important okay. questions for you. Um, Let's um, first of all, you, you obviously have the best house on how Housewives. Thank you. When you um, when there are events at other ladies' houses, do you kind of go like, "Ugh, I should be hosting"? No, really? No, it's a lot of work to host. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, not at all. I like going to other ladies' houses for, but not all of them host anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I've totally noticed. Because I can't. <laughs> um, uh, okay, who has the best private jet? Um, well, owning their private jet. Well, no, does Diana actually own a private jet? I think she's just chartering them like I did. <laughs> oh, my God, I love this. What's oh the, what, can God. I ask what, what the one thing about flying, flying private where you miss being on a commercial plane? What do I miss? No, well, if you're on a private plane. <laughs> I mean, well, the people private, and that you must Socialising. Line, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You must miss lining up and stuff. Um, you know, Is I, there I a don't, thing about the service or something, you know? Uh, you know, Well, there's a really good service on private planes. But what I, I will say that, um, no, we don't always fly private, but obviously sometimes, you know, like it's we first of all I have a big family mm. so I you know I have four daughters and sometimes like the boyfriend wants to come and the the fiance and sometimes I want my dog so right. in those yeah, circumstances enough. I would fly private oh my god I would love to be your dog <laughs> <laughs> which one there's six of them oh my god which well, what kind of dogs you got I have two German shepherds a golden retriever a Leonberger, a Pomeranian that's the only small one oh. and I have what's what's called an Octava. Oh. Like I, it's, oh, what they? They're all rescue. Uh, so I had never heard of that breed before. And then once I... Is it pronounced rest, octopus? It's one of the biggest, <laughs> largest breeds in the world. Oh, my God. Oh, seriously? Google it. Okay. okay. I'll, 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 I'll be that. What? I'm getting one It's Russian now. bear yeah. dog. Okay. It's actually... It's it's like the one up there with like the Tibetan Mastiff. They are ginormous. Yeah, I'm bringing it yeah. up on the screen. I'll be there. Yeah, please oh look at this. I'll be any of them. Okay. Him. I'll get oh, one. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh, wow. They're oh, my God. They look like scary. a lot of work. It looks like one of the housewives of Melbourne. <laughs> I won't say which one. I will not say which one. <laughs> On a good day. Oh, um, my God. Okay, I'm going to give you a diamond. <laughs> oh, I hear oh that's my very God. good. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay. I take that. I'm going to no, give no, you a No, 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 no. Talk yes. us through the diamond thing because Joel has been uh, talking us through what the diamond means. I was and, saying and Kylie how sent a diamond. It's very important. And She's you, the queen of the show. Do you have that in the opening credits or what exactly does it represent? You know, it's actually funny. I never have talked about this before. But because people I forget over time. But when I first sat down for my first meeting, um, before I had actually committed, no, I had actually committed to doing the show. And they're like, well, Orange County holds an orange and New York holds an apple. I, we, we don't know what, you know, you guys would hold. And I was like, what about a diamond? I'm oh like, you know, gosh. those things look like a diamond. Yes. So um, we were sitting at the Beverly Hills Hotel at the Polo Lounge. And I remember Heaven. saying that. And then I was also like, also, you know, there's a song that goes, Beverly Hills. You know uh. that song? And that's what we use oh that my first God, uh, season one. Did you get a production one. credit for all that? No. <laughs> no. So you have been in all of the series and kind of part of the, like, the, not only on it, but kind of the creative team of it, it the OGs. seems. The, well, I mean, 
I can't say creative team because it's reality and we're just living our lives and they're following us. But obviously I've been there, you know, a long time. Yeah. And, um, you, you know, you kind of know like what would work and, you know, if That'd someone would be, so be a good house, when they want to bring someone else in, you're like, yeah. they'd be a good housewife. And I would, you know, no, I, don't, I really don't think so. Or, oh, right. Know. Well, have you started like licking your lips like Diana around the clock? Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel so bad for all those memes. Oh, by the way, let me just clarify, you know, for a second. When I say that, I don't think she'd be a good housewife. It's not like I'm... They would ask the other cast members of that, course, too. Of course, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just clarifying. Okay, like, Kyle says no, this housewife would not be good. She's running the show. If you were stuck on a desert island and you could pick one other housewife, who would you go with? Go with one other housewife. Yeah. Past or current? Oh, oh my God, past. Are you going to say Lisa Vanderpump? No, I'm going to say Teddy bit... Mellencamp. Oh, of course you're best friends with her. <gasps> yeah, but I mean, I also, you know, Dorit and PK and, and I are look very amazing. close. You know, my husband and uh, PK are best friends. And, you know, so they're like family to me. So, or, you know, we could fill a couple's the private trip. jet with past and present. I'm close with all of, you know, you know, the ones that have been on there the longest, I obviously have a long standing relationship with. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, I love Sutton. I love Garcelle. I love you know, Sutton. getting to know the newer girls. So. You're like the glue that holds it all together. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like corny or PC, but I really do mean that. You know, I, I'm not like, they're not looking to stab me in the back or me stay. They're, we're just don't agree sometimes or people get mad at each other. But, you know, I, I like them all. I really do. Yeah. I'm just closer with some. Including Lisa Vanderpump. I will always, <laughs> I will always have a soft spot for Lisa Vanderpump. Oh, she's... Um, but I also <laughs> will watch my back. Of course, of course. <laughs> I'll explain it all to you after. No, that's good. I love that. I'm going to binge the series. It's on that's Hey You best. right now, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, streaming now on Hey You. Um, you're here to play a game with us. Okay. It's called Quick Draw. Um, I give a category and a letter, and the first to yell out a correct answer gets a point, and the first answer you yell out is locked in. It's a, we'll do a practice Wait, question. Wait, my ADD okay. kicked in. What happened? <laughs> Wait, so you're going to yell out a... I'm gonna give you, I'll give you a practice question and you'll know okay. how it works based on the practice question. You're playing Joel Creasy. Okay. okay. It goes like this. This is, this is not for real. This is just practice. Okay. Okay. Mm. Name any real housewife starting with K. Kyle. <laughs> okay, that was easy. It's easy. Oh, right? I'm okay. So it's well, kind of like that. Yeah. Why no, am I getting exactly nervous? Like it is the like that. Are you should get yeah. it. People, we take this oh game very goodness. seriously. The stakes are higher, guys. Don't be, don't be nervous. Joel okay. is so nervous. Of course. Kyle Richards is here from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We'll play Quick Draw for real next. This is Woo! Kate, Tim and Joel. Kate, Tim and Joel's Quick Draw. Well, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills have come to us. Joel Creasy has talked oh. to us about it for years. Kate yes. Ritchie, all he does is talk about this show. Now we finally get to meet the OG. Kyle Richards is here. And the new series, and all the series, I believe, is a streaming on Hey You. Oh yes, God. it is. Bang. Yes. And it comes out the same day as US, so. Oh, I know. Oh, wow. Fine. No way. Finally. PM. <laughs> oh, oh, you've got the time down. I, I okay. watch it at the time. That, that, that I didn't even yeah. know. Really? Yeah. Like live? I watch it right before I come in here for work. Yeah. Oh, oh is that why you're late? <laughs> oh, on a Thursday, us. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Very what time, important. What time today does it come out? <laughs> it's just come out. I've just watched it and you're amazing in the episode I watched. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you're so yeah. funny. i got to say, your Great pieces to camera are the best of any housewife in any season ever. Well, thank you. They're so good. How much thought do you put into them or is it all natural? I'm a very expressive person, yes. so I do not have a poker face. Yeah. And, I mean, even, like, today, you know, uh, they were trying to get some pictures of me, you know, like, the hair and makeup people while I'm talking. I look at them, I'm like, all I'm doing is, like, <laughs> why do I make these faces like this? Just calm down. It's yeah. great. I'm like, it I've always been like that. I think my whole family's like that, actually. Yeah, we're your yeah. Like, my sister Shock. Kim is like that. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, are you ready? Okay. Yeah. How okay. do you feel about pretend? Good luck. You, you know, are you going to go easy or... Well, she's very smart, so... I don't think uh -oh. you want to be... I don't think you want to be Carl, do you? I mean, I do. It would look Listen, great in my resume. Don't give me any, you know, points. Like, okay. I, all right. We're okay. going to go head to head okay, here. Okay, let's do it. Okay. okay. Well, chances are you'll walk out of here and forget all about it. You'll hold <laughs> yeah. on the rest of your You life. are the real oh, no, winner. I, I, I don't forget about anything. I lay up all night worrying about everything. No, it's okay. <laughs> I've got a WhatsApp group chat of gays, and they're like, when's she arriving? I was like, oh, she's here soon. I think she's in the building. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Question number one. We're playing best of seven, first of four. Here we go. Kyle V. Joel. Okay. Name a... Oh, he, one at a time? No, no, no. You're, no, you're playing each other. Against. Oh, okay. First in. Okay, best dress. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. Name an alcohol brand starting with B. Bacardi. Oh. Bacardi. Bacardi. Joel, Damn, that was fast. Mm. Did you yeah, give him no. any heads up? No. No, no they don't give no anything. preparation on this show oh, at all. Yeah, yeah, kind of like yours. I, I really feel like I'm going to lose. I just want to put that out there. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. okay. Uh, name okay. something you bring to a party starting with C. 
Wayne. Oh. <laughs> Can we just give her that point anyway? Yeah, she'll be wild. Candle! Oh, yeah. I forgot I didn't no, listen to the Chardonnay. No, no, we're no, candle. No, I said candle. Starting to see wine. Candle it is. Candle it is. That is actually, actually my favourite just... answer. <laughs> okay, you guys. That, okay. You, Maybe we do a version. I'm sure I'm smarter than this, I promise you. <laughs> Maybe I do a version where I don't give letters. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, here we go. It's one apiece. It's I love this. Favorite. Question number three. Name a designer brand starting with G. Georgia um, Armani. Yes! Oh! yes. Wow. I was trying to go oh, too don't fancy. Yell. Don't yell. She's so stylish, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be so. No house of Gucci for you. Oh, oh, no. I, don't, I, I, don't was, know. I mean, too I, easy. I would have said Gucci too normally. I don't know. Too why. Easy. So two but points. You saw the to movie Kyle. as well. It's a bit, ugh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what did you think about the movie in Be Serious? Um, I, I was. I, no, it sucks. I, wasn't, it I didn't sucks. love it as much as I wanted no, to we, be honest. We fight about this all the time. Oh, I loved it. My husband loved it too. I, I, um, I love Lady Gaga so much. Um, Do you know her? I was in a video with her. She asked me to be in a oh video my with God, her. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she, she's an incredible um, artist uh, across the board. And yeah. um, You win some, you lose some. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Yeah, I think she's doing fine. Yeah, that's She'll right. She'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Also Gucci. Okay. Question number four. Name an occupation that starts with F. Fireman. Oh, yes. Oh, Sexy oh occupation. God. What a great occupation Almost a bad word. is. <laughs> <laughs> Two points. Well, it's an occupation for some people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, name a city where Housewives is filmed <gasps> anywhere in the world, starting with M. Melbourne. <gasps> is there Miami? No. Oh, Kyle. Yes. yes. There is? Yeah, there there is. is. I should yes. know that. Yeah. Yeah. I, Kyle, I'm, I'm really, really losing. I don't, this is embarrassing, I, I, don't, I don't want to tell you this, but you really need to get this point. I know. You really I'm telling Joel you. Has, Joel has three points and you only have two. I'm you know jet lagged, guys. This is not nice. Okay. I didn't think you get jet lagged on a private jet. <laughs> I don't fly private here. Oh, really? Oh, I saw pictures no. of you on a private oh, jet. Gross. Oh, gross. No. From How Italy gross. to London, I did. Oh, right, and okay. then here, oh, we, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I had no idea. It would have been easier on you. I have to tell you, like Qantas Airlines, it was actually felt like it was. It's gorgeous. They even had a lounge where you can go have breakfast. Oh, look at you, though. Oh, very nice. That's a great airline. That was yeah, they are amazing. I mean, that big that. kangaroo, yeah, amazing. Kangaroo. Hello, Alan Joyce, if you're listening. Yeah, we love you. I Mr. Joyce. Uh, okay, this is for the win. He's the boss. <laughs> He's the big boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he may as well be okay. the kangaroo. Now, come on. Okay. Let's, let's, like, calm it down. Yes. Okay. Kyle, you have to get this point. Be be gorgeous and fabulous. <laughs> I already feel I'm not going to get it, guys. <laughs> Name something you'd find in the backyard, starting with P. Pipe. <laughs> Pill! Plants! Pill! 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 No, I Have I won? Yeah, you've won. Yes! Oh, no! no. Oh, but you're the real winner, Kyle. That's all right. Absolutely. I'm going to blame it on the jet lag. <laughs> yeah. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.